Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to talk about your U.S. weekly forecast for December 13th through the 20th so you can plan your weekend and your work week ahead. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. All right, so let's get started. So here's an overall uh, temperature map for this morning on Friday the 13th. We've got uh, widespread freeze in much of, much of the country where we've got uh, Washington coming in in the, in the 30s and Oregon and the Idaho and Montana. We, we get down in the start, starting in the single digits in Dakotas and Minnesota and parts of Wisconsin. We don't start getting into the 30s until uh, Nebraska and into Oklahoma and parts of Missouri but into the 40s in the southwest, southeast, and then you know 20s and even teens up in the New England states. But as as the precipitation goes, we've got that off that northwest flow. We've got snow coming in into Washington and Idaho and parts of uh, Colorado. But on the southeast side, we've got some rain to deal with and the parts of uh, the Carolinas, but also some ice this morning so be looking for that and uh, Virginia and West Virginia where you could run into a patch of about a tenth to a quarter of inch of ice so be be careful for that on the roads as you're driving into work and then we take it out to Saturday morning we've got uh, 20s coming in in Washington and Oregon and Idaho and Montana but uh, now in the 20s in uh, Colorado and but, but we're starting to starting to see that change of that another Arctic system coming in and the Dakotas where we got below zero temperatures again in North Dakota and South Dakota, and eventually this will swing into Minnesota, but we've got 30s and then the 60s hanging on into Florida. If we take it out to Saturday morning, we've got that system coming in off the west, so we've got more snow for Oregon and Idaho and Wyoming and parts of Utah, and as that snow will start filtering in and start deepening, uh, on Saturday in, in the mountains and eventually start creeping into, into to Denver. But out ahead of it, we've got that southwest ridge again, bringing more rain and potentially a little bit more ice and some snow, some, some snow as this swings up the New England coast. If we take it out to Sunday morning, that's when we get a little bit colder and start on that on that Arctic blast. And even the temperatures even get colder in Minnesota. Now we're talking teens and even some spots 20 below zero so that is that is some frigid air coming in and i know the packer game i think it's like 15 degrees uh for the for the uh green bay and, and chicago game so it's going to be a cold one <laughs> but we got uh, 20s and teens in illinois and uh where that snow is coming down in colorado we've got teens but we're starting to starting to warm up again in, in the south where we're 50 degrees uh for a low in in dallas and then, you know, coming into the Carolina states, uh, you know, 40s and upstate New York, Pennsylvania into the 30s. If we take it out to Sunday for the precipitation, we can see that system swinging up the east coast, bringing more snow for upstate New England as this, as this swings out. And then Monday morning for your work week, for your plan ahead, we've got that cold front still diving diving south so now we've got the cold cold blast now we've got 49 degrees in in dallas fort worth area but out ahead of it uh, 60s and 70s in parts of louisiana uh, mississippi and alabama and 70s still hanging on into florida but out before that we've got teens and widespread uh freeze in much and much of the country and as far as the precipitation goes that we have then we have that system coming across so we're starting to get some to be dealing with some that snow event in Kansas and Missouri and uh, Iowa and Indiana and Ohio, but then ice on the south side and then rain on rain on the south side. But so in that min middle where we have that uh, deformation zone, we've, we're, we're going to get that mix. So you're going to have to be watching that on the roads on your Monday morning commute in the central part of the country. But if we take it out to Tuesday morning, that's when we see that cold front dipping down a little bit further and now we're seeing uh more more 20s in oklahoma and kansas and missouri and even down to the uh, teens and some of the single digits in northern missouri and, and and illinois but again 
even below zero in the parts of Wisconsin. And then California is still hanging on in parts of where you're going to get that snow in the Sierras again, uh, 30s, Northern uh, California, and then uh, t 20s in Nevada. So we're, we're going to see that cold air kind of locking in. And as this swings across, we're going to have to be dealing with this uh, severe weather setup on, um, you know, Monday afternoon into Tuesday in parts of the Southeast. So, but as this cold air, once the cold air arrives, all that will just be put to a squash. <laughs> if we take it out to Tuesday, we can see that out ahead of it, we've got more rain out ahead of it. So, and then up, up, up ahead of it, we've got more snow and ice to deal with in, in parts of uh, Connecticut and Massachusetts and New Hampshire and, and, and Delaware and up all these New England's New England states will have to be dealing with some some ice as this system kind of merges together on on Tuesday morning and Wednesday now we've got some temperatures that are really filtering in all the way down to the deep south so we've got widespread 20s in Oklahoma and now Dallas Fort Worth area is going to be experiencing a freeze but that's going to go all the way down into Houston you know you're going to get a freeze in parts of Louisiana Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia so all these states are going to be experiencing freeze probably a good 70 percent of the country 70 75 percent of the country is going to be experiencing a freeze by wednesday of, of next week and where you see that snowpack where it's going to lay a pretty good snowpack in the new england states you're going to be even colder than that but you can you can see on wednesday we've got that system kind of moving out so it's kind of like we're in between, in between systems by by wednesday so it's pretty calm in much of the country but by Thursday, that's when we kind of bottom out and all these temperatures will start reaching the coastline where even parts of the panhandle of Florida will experience a, a freeze now and well into Georgia and Al Atlanta, a freeze, even South Carolina, even Savannah, Georgia, all the way down to the coast, Virginia Beach, uh, all the Carolina states. So much of the country now we're dealing with, you know, probably 80 percent, good 80, 85 percent of the country experiencing a freeze by Thursday. Uh, of next week but again where we've got that snow we're going to start getting below zero in parts of new england where we've got single digit uh negative numbers and even you know negative 10 below zero in parts of upstate new england so we've got some frigid air filtering in on the on the northeast uh, part of the united states and if we take it out to thursday again we're we're still dealing with that in-between system. So now as that system moves across from earlier winked up in a lot of rain and snow, it, we're kind of clearing out. So a, a pretty good, pretty good uh, dr drive to work by, by Thursday morning. So you won't have to be dealing with, with much. But as this tr makes a transition into Friday, now we're starting to deal with, again, more cold air where we've got that snowpack in the Northeast uh, and parts of Maine and upstate New England and we're, you know, teens in, in Wisconsin and, and widespread 20s and teens in, in Colorado and still hanging on to a freeze in much of the deep south and southeast. So uh, two or three days in a row coming up for next week for the deep south that you're going to experience that that colder weather. And we take it out to Friday again. We're just kind of in that transition snow uh, zone where I know uh, this week you're going to get a lot of rain in Vancouver, Canada. So I don't want to leave you guys out. And I know in uh, Toronto, uh, you're going to get some some snow this week in, in Toronto as well as uh, Montreal. So uh, you, you won't be left out of, uh, of the snow, the snow event that's coming into the, into the United States. If we take a look at the overall precipitation uh, map, then we, we see off that Northwest flow, it's mainly gonna be we've, where that snow is gonna hit o over the Western part of the United States, we're gonna have a, 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 that abundant moisture. And as this taps into, you can see where a lot of the snow is going to fall into the mountains of Colorado. And as this system comes across the central part of the country, but where it's the warmest, where it's going to be able to tap into much of that Gulf moisture and all this is going to be rain on the southeast side. We've got a good two to three inches uh, overall for the southeast for this upcoming uh, week. But if we take a look at the snow map, that's where we see that abundant amount of snow in the Sierras. I know they've got They've had an incredible amount of snow in the, in the California mountains. And, and again, off, off, this, off this northwest flow, it's going to dump a lot more snow this week. And uh, Oregon and uh, Utah and, and Colorado, again, where I'm thinking, you know, one to two feet, possibly three feet in spots in the mountains, 
But as we get into the, into the cities, into Denver, about two to four inches this week. And as this will swing across and into Kansas, there's a good swath in the central part of the country. It's going to dump two to four in some spots, four to six inches of snow and Missouri and Southern Iowa and parts of uh, Illinois and Indiana and Ohio and, and especially P uh, Pennsylvania, you know, Pittsburgh, I'm thinking about four inches this week. Um, but much of Pennsylvania is going to get at least two to four inches, sunspots four to six and uh, Connecticut and all the, all the new England States and work by, by off, by the by the lakes by syracuse and buffalo you might be hitting double digits in parts of the area where you're going to have a lot more uh hit with both sides uh, off that warm water vapor and and off and off the lake where you're going to have that squeeze play and you're going to produce more snow up at, up in the new england state so it kind of gives you an idea of how this uh work week is going to play out for this weekend and upcoming for the for the work week i, I appreciate you guys uh, staying with me this morning and tuning in and be sure to like this video and share with your friends on uh, social media and definitely uh, subscribe to my channel and catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.